Hola. Let's try this again. <laughs> Feliz sábado. Um, comparte lo que tienes. Share what you have, please. Up here, all here, all the things. Huh? Psalm 40. This is David speaking, and he's talking to God. He, verse 9, says, I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out. Hmm. As you know, O Lord, as you, O Lord, will know, I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Stop. What is he saying here? He says, God, I've been talking about you. I've been telling people the good news about you. I've been telling people how you are a just God, about your justice, about your love, about your faithfulness. I haven't kept it to myself. He's been sharing the good news. He's been sharing the good things that he knows. That's why the gospel translates in the gospel, that term, is good news. That's what that term meant back in the day, back in Hebrew, Greek. Okay. Um, and that's what I urge you. A perfect example, my goodness, of people doing that is books. All the books that I've been reading and acquiring all this knowledge is because people did not keep the information that they knew to themselves. It wasn't just information, right? It was valuable information. So valuable that it demonstrated in their lives. Once they used this information, it was able to transform their lives in a great way. They said, let me not keep this to myself. If I'm thriving now in these amount of ways, let me take what I know, put it in the book and, and give it to people. Not give it, you know, sell it, but and share it with people. That way, I won't be the only person with this knowledge. I won't be the only person thriving. I won't be the only person successful. I've heard it from a successful, wealthy, wealthy rich person. I can't remember who it is. But they said, rich people, wealthy people, they want to give you information. They want to give the information they have. When they get to a point where it's just like, I'm too wealthy or too rich to really like care about anything today, they want to give that information away. Some people know and learn how to do it by writing a book. And then they say, here, here you go. There's a line um, in a song that Jay-Z says. He says, um, over here, around here, we say you broke if everybody is broke except for you. Hmm. Why is that? If you think about, if you're the only person in your friend group who is knowledgeable, who has wisdom, your friend group as a whole is poor in wisdom. If you're the only person in your city or community who is rich, if you average out your community, your community and city is still poor. <sighs> Hold on, I wrote this down. The 1% isn't of any value to the 99% unless or until that 1% actually shares what they have with the 99%. Does that make sense? Hmm. And that's why they stay the 1%. Because they keep what they have and they don't share what they got with the 99%. Make it, okay. Share what you have. You cannot expect the whole, everybody, the world, humanity, your people, your family, community to thrive if you're the only person who still has the goods. Anyway, si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo, yo te quiero decir a ti hoy, esta día, sábado, que te quiero, que te amo. If nobody has told you today, I want to tell you that I love you so much. Because listen, I'd be liking out here, but get what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.